something in there, Graves, you've been avenged. I'm sorry. Until, until I, I'm, not I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Either. I haven't died to it in brackets, so I've Yo. never died to it in brackets, so I'm happy about that. But I died to it twice in one set the night it was patched out, before it got patched. Wonderful. So I was so – I was not upset, but – I was like, could we, could we have held off this tournament for a little while? <laughs> but we've been holding off the commentary on this new match. Rob versus yeah. Palutena. We're this... not going to see any suicides here. No, no. Hopefully not. Yeah. Intentionally, certainly not. But we'll see. Uh, so this is interesting. Rob, I'd say on paper, Rob actually loses this in yeah. the neutral to Palutena. I would, I, would, I would agree. But in practice, laser, top, and then... Rob has weird timings on a lot of his moves. Down tilt is instant. Um, Nair has the delay onto it. Back air has the delay onto it. Dash attack is real quick. So you've got to be on top of it and waiting. Oh, he's jumped. I got to look out for a parry or a block. I got to run under, all this sort of thing. Yeah. It's a lot to keep track of. And Palutena is very to herself. Um, even with her projectile game. Uh, okay, going to catch oh. that. Uh, does he now? I'm not sure what the mash properties are with that move, but um, they say when you do get down thrown by Rob, you want to mix it up whether you're going to mash or not because yes. they do two different things. Um, from my understanding, I think the pop-up is when you mash, but I could be wrong because I know very little about Rob. Yeah. Uh, Dill would certainly be the one to ask. But Me it's... either. I've never liked the character. Hated playing against the character, <laughs> even in Smash 4. He's... Um, He's his own type of zoner, to be sure. Goes for the kill confirm on that. He not absolutely would have died. He, I mean, he died anyways. But yeah. if he caught, if that neutral B would have, con or side B would have connected, he absolutely would have died. So that plastic ledge, sending it out to their plastic brother, Rob gets the SD over on Palutena. It's a shame, but the ledges on Pokemon Stadium 2, sometimes they just don't favor you. Yeah. And I mean, teleport recoveries are definitely not as good in this game. Uh, no. You definitely got to know where you're aiming. They're, I don't want to say they're janky, but they're not easy to know where you're going. Exactly. You, you've got to aim yourself, and then you just have to assume that you go in a direction following the slope, and that's not always true. Either. And I mean, it's very momentum-based. You don't just up B, you don't just up B and go to the straight trajectory or angle that you chose. Like you have to kind of account for the momentum that you already have. Speaking of momentum-based, Dill playing very pressure-heavy here, but he's never getting within Palutena's range to allow him a counter attack. Oh, never mind. I take it back. Okay, but I mean, this is still uh, <laughs> Dill has a That's really a, good oh, lead right now. So um, there's a lot of things that Dill could, a lot of setups Dill has that can uh, kill Palutena. Absolutely, a lot of setups, and then even Aaron hits as far as mm, double up air. Nice, yeah. good air dodge. You needed okay, that. Okay, good trade. He that, to get out of that situation, a trade is just fine. Yeah, absolutely. Because um, uh, Palutena has nope. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Ray running this one back. Yeah. That they're going to put him in disadvantage. Now you see Dill at, at center stage. That grab going to completely whiff, though. How do you secure this stock if you're Dill? Because uh, you have to do it now. Uh, Ray has a lot of momentum. Oh, my God. What? That back air hit what <laughs> extremely high. That was really high. Wow. Wow. Now, Ray just completely turned the tide of that match. He was at 110 at the start of that stock. And Rob has no issue killing. Like, you will die to this robot. <laughs> but Ray showed no fear just now. That, None. Shield, that shield was not even close. Like, what what, <laughs> what options did he have in that situation? <coughs> like, oh, my God. Straight defense. And if you air dodge down, you get re-grabbed. Look, let's be honest. Palutena is a goddess. Rob is a line of toys. Yeah. You, 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 you've got, you've got the back. I mean, back. yeah. I'm sorry, Rob. Oh, uh, rest in peace. The last of his kind, and he's had it hard ever since Brawl. Poor boy. He's the best he's ever been, but he's still got to work. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. But, I mean, now, Dil this can go in uh, a number of ways. Dill can take that and kind of, like, soak in it. And Ray could just run, run with the momentum. Mm -hmm. Or he can understand, listen, that was my match. Um, let me just do what I did and not die to a dare at 50%. Mm -hmm. And uh, take this to a game three. So let's see how this goes. Honestly, uh, the way Dill was playing was very good. He's got, I think uh, Rob suits him very well in that he plays neutral in sort of a weird tempo, right? Yeah. So he'll, he'll be like, now I'm going to zone. Actually, I'm going to play the mid range, but not do anything. Actually, I'm going to go for it. Like the uh -huh. mix up that everyone wants to aspire to. But I think with Rob especially, it really makes it hard to get a solid read on him. So getting that down air where he did probably 
made it so he's like, he's yeah. that came one. That was a good call with the tornado. Mm -hmm. Doesn't kill, but excellent percent rack. Gets the stage set up. Yeah, if you're going to get hit with that move, you want to get hit at center stage because at the ledge, that move does so much knockback. Explosive flame. Very low committal. Uh, Palutena catches them. They're out for a very long time. That's one thing about the disadvantage on this. When Rob is in a bad spot, his moves take a long time to blow out. And Palutena's moves are out for a long time. So if he's trying to get his way in, good counter, yep. good way to get out of that scenario. If he's trying to get his way in and Palutena's already got a move out, even if he air dodges or he goes under it, whatever, he can probably still just get hit by it. I'm surprised he got out of that explosive flame. Yeah, that was a weird hitbox. One of those outside hitbox kind of like oh. shot you out. Now, I'm going to call this. Care. I'm going to build this wall. <laughs> I'm going to build this wall of light and you're not going to. You're just not going to pass it. You ever play World of Light? You haven't I tried have. the story campaign. <laughs> Let me send you there right now. I actually haven't played World of Light. Uh, it's good, but it's also not great. Um, it can be pretty boring depending on what you like about it. So you're, you're not missing too much. Okay, good. Although there are some parts, I won't spoil, especially for you or anyone who's watching who hasn't played it, but there's some stuff, especially towards the end, that makes it totally worth it. Right? I would absolutely play through it just for that. Nonetheless, I mean, Utopian Race in at 210%. Now, oh, you're dead. Yeah, that's just How right. often do you see uh, Palutena living to 210%? Yeah, she's that going over to old age, you know. She's the goddess. She can afford a little bit of health care over here. Rob, he's just a machine, <laughs> so he plugs her out of life support, says, see ya. Oh, okay, not even going to get buried on that. All right. Yeah, that's weird. I have, to, I have to figure that out. Maybe yeah. go into the Rob Discord, figure out how Barry works, because yeah. uh, he'd even go in the ground just now. So do the Rob Discord, do they call their bot just Rob, or is it something else? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Palutena. Oh, not quite. That was good DI, he and he's dead. Yeah. Now, you see Dill DI'd in on both of those down throws. You're going to eat up there every single time. Take the damage from the fair. If you DI out enough, you'll get the sour spot. But you definitely don't want to get hit with the up air. Still very hard to get. Um... Oh, uh -oh, no, no, no. This is bad. Oh, he went for the double. He, he did. Okay, you don't get your jump back when... Uh, when you get two frames, so. Can I just point out, I know that that didn't fully work out, but that was an extremely intelligent move from May to do that. Uh, very low commitment. I mean, he did get hit, but the up air's not going to kill him from down there. That yeah. percent. Uh, just going for the dare. <laughs> wow. Oh, man, he wanted it all. He was ready to wow. end that stock. He wanted to, like, maybe shield poke or catch a spot dodge. Uh, that covered a lot of options, even jump. Nice up That's smash. Good. Now, this is a game. This We're is right game. back in it now, Dill. Uh, if you could just uh, stay solid, play that, play this stock like you've been playing these uh, last few stocks. You got this game. Uh, Gets the trade we'll for game the trip. Uh, oh, parrying top just completely removes it. I didn't know that. That's nice. Super nice. Uh, tries to go for a confirm for the up air. I've never seen okay. that before, but that's a smart idea. That's a, a nice little frame trap with the up air. Keep it on his toes. This is not a great place to be. Yeah. You don't want to have to jump that top if you can afford not to. Yeah, if, uh, if Dill calls that jump out with a back air, like, he can die pretty early. Oh, oh okay. very aggressive, but works out perfectly. Uh, still catches him with the lower side. Nice. Now, you see, he didn't commit to the full hop, so he can stay on the ground and keep stage control. And because um, Ray uh, di down, or excuse me, uh, air dive down, he was able to get caught with the last, the ending hitboxes of it. Good call with the top. Uh, throws it away. I think that may have maybe been a misinput or a hard call out that just didn't pay out. But okay. I would have held on to that. Gonna top. cover some space with this top. How do you get back to the middle of the stage? You just walk. <laughs> walk back to the middle of the stage. Now we're shading stage control. Yeah. Now Ray can get uh, can die to just about anything right now. Yes. But being at the ledge, back air can kill, but he's alive. Oh, makes it with the air dodge and catches there him with the other air. I wonder what he wanted to read with that explosive flame. Um, honestly, it's just nice to have out there, right? So Rob, because he's got no hitbox out, because he doesn't go too suddenly, even if he moves slow, that's one part of the screen that he can't use. Uh -huh. He can't go high without going real low first, which means he might as well just recover low. Yeah. Um, but that was a solid recovery nonetheless. The up smash did not catch his air dodge into the ledge, and he managed to jump up for the punish, which was a really solid way to end that. That was very calm. Um, even if it's slow, even if the spots are telegraphed, it's never a good time trying yeah. to get back on stage against Palutena, especially when you're about even like mm -hmm. that. It's scary. But very solid. Kept his composure throughout. Um, 
I mean, the scary thing is Palutena covers so much space with so many kill moves. It's not like you can say, okay, I'm just going to do this and take the damage here. It's like if you neutral get up, you can die to up smash. You jump, you can die to up smash or up air. You know, like you jump, you can die to back air or whatever. Like she has so many options to just uh, to kind of keep you on that ledge, take damage, and kill you. So it's just that much scarier. Yeah. Good uh, end of the string over there with the auto running. Well, don't see that always, but it's a good call. Mm -hmm. It can be punishable if the air dodge. Well, maybe not if you air dodge through it, but if you see it coming. But it's a good call there. Yeah. Um, and with Palutena, too, uh, when she has a lead like this, challenging her is scary, too, because she has, you know, the armor on her dash deck, armor on her bear. She's got disjoints and very modest disjoints, but disjoints by themselves are already pretty good and not something that everyone has access to. Yeah. Rob included. Or at least I don't think he has disjoints. If he does, that'd be pretty good. <laughs> Nonetheless, I mean, Dill already taking 133% right now. Uh, Palutena can't kill, as we've seen from these last two games. So Dill kind of maybe has to slow the game down. Uh, that was interesting. I think he tried to grab the top there, but he just kind of yeah. sat himself down. He was like, let me put myself in the... Uh, yeah, grabbing uh, the gyro in this game um, is weird. Like, the hitbox is pretty big, so... You can't get bodied by it. He can make that back, but it's going to be rough. No, he's done. Nice. I mean, it looked like he was nearing the end of his gas, but uh, Ray didn't take any chances. Um, Because I think he'd... No, wait, he'd air dodged off, so maybe, yeah, he wouldn't have been able to make back. But yeah. Even still, making sure yeah, with exactly. that there doesn't hurt. Yeah, not I'm not taking any chances bit. with that. He wouldn't have died to up air either, so not a bad option. Okay, just going to nair to get himself back to the stage. Yeah. Ah. That was a bit of a greedy up smash there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, it was greedy in, in, in that in that respect. Uh, there's a lot of things that Palutena can do on your shield that's relatively safe. That up smash is not fast enough to punish her for anything. No, so I'm no. guessing he's trying to read uh, another option. Maybe not going into shield. Maybe Palutena jumping with another aerial. Yeah, uh, Palutena... I'd say she always has a certain range that she wants to land on you on. Like, she's never going to be super far away and get you with something like um, a Marcina forward air or something like that. Yeah. Like, her range is very specific, and she'll either land right in front of you or right on top of you. So it could be a call-out that he wanted to do, but there are less risky call-outs, especially when Palutena can be very safe, and Utopian Lane likes to play her very safe and very patient. Oh, did you see that? He kind of dashed and immediately went into a walk with that. That was cool. Um, He might have ah. done so. Ooh, last hit parry. Yeah, that We're was nice. We're red parrying. We third strike over here? <laughs> he looked like he parried the um the last hit of um the gyro, actually, not the uh, oh, side Oh, that would make sense. So. Okay. <laughs> got a little too excited. Parries are man, so that cool, been man. cool, Yeah, parries definitely. So Especially cool. when you can get the punish after. So dope. Nonetheless, uh... We are three minutes into this match, and Ray still has his first stock. That's. Oh, and you're dead. <laughs> you are dead. So that was weird because he uh, he went to the right, but still died off the top. <laughs> so Ray is past. Oh, I was gonna say Ray is past extra credit at this point. He's going to the AP class. Exactly. He's, he's keeping all of his time at summer camp. He doesn't have time to go out to the movies. But 14 <laughs> percent, honestly. Oh, palatated air strings. Here we go. Uh, correct yourself. Not just 14. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, Dilson at 57% right now, 67 and counting. How do you make it back to the stage without dying? <laughs> That's even, really the question. Even if you get back, see, Rob would prefer just a little bit of space so we can start setting up, and Palutena is not going to let him have any of it. He's just racked up all this damage, 100% off of just this ledge game alone. Okay. That was an interesting Ooh. counter, but not a bad call. Not at yeah. all. And that down there, I'm, I'm not mad at you. Definitely got to go for those right now. You're at a position where... Um, I'm surprised he does that laser. Uh, got the top, trades with it on his aerial. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be about getting back to the ledge. Good yeah, I recovery. mean, he's been taking damage all the way back. And this back here going to do it again. I think he's taking uh, both games with uh, just just still trying to get back onto the stage with back air. Can we, talk about, can we talk about this right here? This, that shield's so good, thi man. This, that, hold up, right there? Right there. Oh, <laughs> we're, oh you, we're here. You, you, you guys you can, can be, see me. You can be. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. <laughs> that back air really good, man. You can't do. I mean, the, once Palutena is throwing out those back airs, there isn't much you can do. Like you can't jump and uh, she'll catch you jumping, trying to throw out an attack, and uh, 
it, it's just a bad situation to be in. It's it's definitely not a great one. And even stuff like, you know, people say, oh, if your opponent plays predictably, parry this, parry that. Yeah. But even if you parry a Palutena back air, or if you get up with the intent to parry, mm -hmm. that doesn't automatically mean that you're safe. There's uh, the couple frames of get up, and Palutena back air has a good exactly. amount of active frames. Exactly. And then if you parry it, it's still not a guaranteed punish. Mm -hmm. You can maybe go for something light, but it's you can't be greedy with it. You have to be really careful and really patient. Yep. And